So we beat the fire monster and got the second element. Incredible. Kids, you may have some kind of hero or something. I knew I sent potential in you. Hello and welcome back to Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we completed the Cave of Flames or... Oh, yeah, it's actually Cave of Flames. And in this episode, we're going to go ahead and shrink down. As I shrink, go through the expressway and meet with Malarney once again. Go ahead. Wow, that was fast work, but not so fast that I didn't finish your sword. Here, take a look. I call this no new blade the White Sword. Sweet! You got the White Sword. It's beautiful white blade sparkles with light. I'm so rubbing this in Grandpa's face. You could put away your grandfather's sword now. Yeah, who wanted it anyways? It's definitely not as good as the tiny shield. Once you infuse it with the power of the elements, it will become a sacred blade. The forest elder no doubt told you this part, but if you want to infuse the sword, you must go to the elemental sanctuary. The sanctuary is a strange realm, trapped between two worlds. It is the bridge between the minished world and the human world. The doorway to the sanctuary opens only once every hundred years. You'll find that door hidden within Hyrule Castle. Once the blade has been filled with the power of the four elements, you should be able to break the curse on your princess. I know you can do it. After all, you made the short work of that human mind. Let me tell you about the shortcut you can use to get rid down from the mountain. You'll find it right in front of the entrance of the mine you just explored. Just follow that and you'll be down in no time. Good luck. Well, that's not where the story ends here because... Oh, maybe it is where the story ends here. Let me go ahead and leave real quick. Yep, that's exactly what I needed to do. Now I need to find Malarney and Malarkey once again. What am I doing? Of course he's going to be inside the forge room. Yeah. The sanctuary is a strange place at the boulders, the humans, and the minish world. The doorway to the sanctuary opens once every hundred years. I believe it's somewhere in Hyrule Castle. And I believe you're supposed to do a trade with me. Huh. Alright. Alright. So now that I've taken all this damage just to go talk with this guy again, I can finally... The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Neat. And that's over by the... Uh... Something Dust Cave. Alright, now that we're back in Hyrule Town, there's a lot that opens up to us. Arf, arf. And that's not one of them. No, instead, what I probably want to get to fast as I can, if I can find it. No, not this guy. Uh, let's see, where am I trying to go? I think it's this way. So if I was minished, I can get through there. I think this is the guy. The freaky sword guy. Hmm, a new sword. Fantastic. And you seem to have acquired new skills with it. Yes. I am ready to train you again, young swordsman. So, will you accept this new training? I'm compelled to say no. Unfortunately, I have to say yes. 
I will now teach you a technique called the Rock Baker. So pay attention. First, swing your sword to break pots. Actually, that's all there is, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Please, please don't possess me. Yes, ha <laughs> ha good. If you had said you didn't understand, I would have serious doubts about you. Oh, I should have said no. Yes, this, but one must feel the technique, not just hear about it. No, why? Why must you possess me? I don't want to be demonstrated. Don't, no. This is the secret of the swift blade possession technique of training. Yeah, I'm sure that's all you use it for. Bazen, son. Uh, phew. Now you must try it yourself. Break the pots with your sword, that's all. Yes, fine work. Fantastic, even. I will now give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with a scroll. You learned the secret rock breaker fighting technique. Shatter po po pots and pulverize boulders with a single blow. You know, you wouldn't think that, that something like that would ever come in handy, but actually it would be very useful to have, especially against some of those enemies that have shields. So hopefully it works against them, and that's not what I was hoping to learn today. So, huh. Hmm, this house appears to be empty. Maybe we shouldn't go in here. Nah, I'm totally okay with it. So let's see what the ripoff artist has today. Bombs. Eh, nothing too worthwhile. Okay. However, with the cane of Bakai, Bakori, Bakai, Bakori, Bakai, I really want to play a game, but this place isn't open yet. I guess I just gotta go here too early. Yeah, I'm still waiting too. And I think this place is closed. So let's see if I can find what I'm actually looking for. Because I seem to be doing a terrible job of it. Ah, yes. You can now flip pots. And shrink anywhere in Hyrule Town. So let's get exploring. Had to see that for the first time. You know, gotta kinda check out the stuff. Oh, what? Is there a mouse trap somewhere? Huh. Should've known it wouldn't be easy. Yes, I finally got a good grasp on how to run Hyrule. Things run so smoothly around here, and I haven't even done a thing. I wonder how much better this place will be if I actually did anything. Wow. Man, this the game developers did not like this guy. They just made him out to be a jerk. All right then, with that, <clears throat> I think I need to find, well, there was a new pot there, but I can't use it. I believe there was another one in the milk place, but I don't know where that is. Was it here? I think it was here. There it is. Let me tell you something that might come in handy someday. You can move bookcases and stuff. Try pushing and pulling different things. After all, you're young, you should be able to try all kind of new things. Cool. No. No. Darn you, old lady, you ruined my shop. Chapa. You'd be surprised to find who and what you can fuse skin stones with. Yeah, you got a lot of fusing in your future, pal. Seriously? Sure, I bet we can do this. Oh, and I just gave them that one away. But, you wanna quit? Well, I'll be right here waiting. That's okay. I'm okay with it. That's right. 
Even some human objects can have portals. These minish may not look like much, but they are quite crafty. Yeah. I got a treasure chest to collect, so I'm not too worried about things like a... What am I thinking of? I'm not worried about things like rubies when I got treasure chests and stuff to collect. I still got a long way to go, so... It's not like I have this stuff to burn right now. Alright, let's see where I can go from here. I look like I could go from here. Oh, sorry. I am in your way. I just wanted a little attention. Anyways, it was nice of you to say hi. Sorry for the trouble. I'll move on now. Rarf, arf. You want to fuse kinstones? Rarf, arf. Everybody wants this one. You're quitting? Cool. And I got that guy out of my way, so hopefully things will work out better. Ooh, let's talk to this guy. Hey, do you know the clues that reveal the locations of the treasure? Cross the bridge that spans the rapid flow. Through the land of the fearsome beast. Until you reach, reach, reach the Misty Falls. The treasure sleeps on the other side of the secret entrance there. They say it's a magical tool that allows even little people to push big things. According to the legend, you're supposed to start from this house. Alright, so I'm going to probably write notes on what this guy just said because I would like that item even if I can't attain it for a while according to the legend you're supposed to start from this house so let's see if there's really anything else for me to explore I mean I know I'm supposed to push those bookshelves over so let's start from this house here Rarf Arf. You want to fuse kinstones? Rarf Arf. You got a question mark, so I'll gladly... Maybe you're the fearsome beast. This looks like it's back inside the forest where we met old Elzo. Minish Woods, right there. A perfect fit, Arf. Wait, I got an empty fireplace here. Yeah. And I gotta find a way to empty the other one. So, there's a little back entrance. It's the carpenter. Which I can grow from here, but I'm not ready to do that just yet. Because I can go out here. You want to fuse kinstones? Ooh, let's give it a try. This looks like a match. Yeah. Two kin stones fit perfectly. Awesome. I believe that's in the north northern field, so that should work fine. Yep, that tree that I bumped into several times in the very beginning. They fit perfectly. We're good for good luck. Well, at least I am. I don't know about you. So whatever I'm supposed to do, I'm not supposed to do it just yet. Listen up. You, I'm a skilled carpenter. I'm looking for a challenge. Well, there's a bridge out made of stone, so maybe you can carpen up stone? I mean, that's a challenge, right? What is all of this? I'm busy. Don't you see that? Don't disturb my research. If you have no business, be gone. Yeesh. Okay. So, I need to... So I can go up there again. 
Where was the building? There's an old legend that something big will happen when Hyrule's bell rings. You know, you people and just lathering yourself up in curses. I swear. Like, if you guys just stop talking and... Oh, so here's the village of the beasts. So I have to find a way up here. So the tile's here, so what the legend wants me to do is make it into here. Cats, another enemy of small animals, creatures, or whatever. So to get there, I have to get into here. And to get into there, I have to go through here. And to get through here, I have to go through here. Hey, I thought you said you were going to get out of my way. Come on. Thank you. Has something to do with this cat? Rawr. Ugh, greedy cat, all you want is money. Maybe it has something to do with this bird. Oh, I never even noticed this before. Eep, one of the minish. Beep. I'm not like my brothers. I won't chase around and peck at you. Beep, beep. Not only that, I also have some good info for you. Somewhere in Hyrule, there's a great fairy who helps honest adventurers. If you see her, answer every question truthfully. Beep. You want a cheap cheap? Yes, I want a cheap. Aw, oh, I can't cheat. You want to quit? You think I'm too young? Peep peep. Pretty sure it's meant for children, but all you want is rubies anyways. So I knew it that the chickens would be an enemy. But the problem is I can't get in. Oh, wait, maybe I need to. Oh, so maybe I have to move the ghost somehow. Okay. So, firstly, I just need to open up avenues everywhere I can, which means, bam. Oh, there's even something under the soup kitchen. I never really noticed that. Secondly, I gotta try to take out that fire. All right, got me some water. Invaded this guy's home and decided to just put out his fire. You know, for kicks and giggles. Next, I wanna go, really, that's not an entrance? Huh, I wanna go in here. Go down in here. Whoa, did you just see that ki cat looking at me? I know it wants a piece of me. Uh, are you, are you coming for me? <laughs> what? This really startled me. Everything's scary when you're small. You're the one with the ability to turn small. What are you talking about? So this is great and dandy and all. But here's a question. What was the point of all this? Oh. Yikes. Oh, there's... A, I'm really quite good at tracking down rare figurines. Okay. I never even noticed this spot. I'm so dumb. But, regardless, I collect the mysterious shells you've been sc seen scattered. If you bring those shells to me, I'll make it. I'm made. Ah, that's right. Mysterious shell, hmm? I got an offer I'd like to make you. What do you say to... Trading it for a chance of winning a figurine. Sure. How many shells would you like to use in this drawing? The more shells you use, the more likely you are to win a figure. You don't have. You're going to trade one of them? Great. Now just pull the lever. Yeah, well, when you don't have any, you're more likely not to have them. Pull the lever. Guaranteed not to have them. And I got the postman. Cool. We got a winner. I'll keep the figurine in the case. Left for you. You can see it any time. Wow, so I give him a shell. He gives me a figurine. And he keeps it in his shop. The more shells you use, the more likely you are to win a figure. 
Whoa! The second figurine, you need three shells just to get a 100%. I like my odds right now. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this until I run out of shells. Nice. Congratulations. How many do I have so far? Okay, I guess a better question would be... How many are there? 130. Big green choo-choo. Beetle. Peat hat. Cat hun. Peaceful. Postman. So, so far I've driven one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. So, I'm gonna go ahead and just do ten per episode, I guess. I don't know. I mean, obviously it'll be of convenience, but hopefully, uh, I can get pretty lucky. So, where do I go from here? Ooh, this looks like a place to go. <gasps> and would you look at that? I found myself a piece of heart. Collect four to make a new heart. Although, I did just complete a heart container, so it's going to take me a while to get another one. And then I get a hedge of grass there. Can't do nothing there. Let's go in behind this house. If I climb behind the baker... Ow! I can go through two exits. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, that was useless to me anyways. The bread Wheaton makes gets the best bread in Hyper. Cool. Let me get you, catch you in the bottle, fairy. Something to I sneak off with a little nibble of leftover bread. Cool. Looks like you got more than a nibble here. What's with your indestructible... off your guys' table a little bit. Go up here. And I can do the same thing. Whoop. Well, that stinks. Uh. Come on, I want to talk to you. What a wonderful smell. That's... We just love bread. Well, you better. You're in a bread shop, after all. 100 rubies. Nice, but not what exactly what I'm looking for. Well, checking out this spot... Nice little fairy pit, which is nice. Not what I was looking for. Ow. Let 
Wait, wasn't this way opened up to me earlier? Got 10 bombs, that's cool. <gasps> and a free piece of heart. Now you have two pieces. Increase your life energy. This spot does me no good. Are you sure I look alright? I never know what to wear on the formal occasions. Oh, don't worry, just wear anything, you'll be fine. Ooh, new location. I'll take it. Something tells me I gotta hide from some guards, though. Well, if that's the case, they're doing a terrible job, because, my goodness, I'm just walking around wherever I want. No, that's not what it's looking like. Looks like there are three rooms. Oh, right here. Link, look. See how that doorway glows? Could have been the door that leads to the sanctuary. Nobody in the castle seems to be able to see it but you and me. Let's go, quickly. There's no one else here. Not a guard or nothing. Wait, doesn't this door only open once? So wouldn't I want to hold off until I have all of them? So much for that. So, this is the Elemental Sanctuary, then. Well, where can we infuse your blades with the power of the elements? Yes, there seems to be a pedestal for your sword right in the middle there. Yes, there seems to be. So let's blow it up. That didn't last long. The powers of the earth and the fire elements have infused your blade. Hmm, let's see if I can't read the tablet for you. Fill your sword with the power and walk over to the glowing tile. Hmm, perhaps it refers to those flashing spots on the floor around you. Well, what are you waiting for? Try it, Link. Cool. Whoa, you just split in two. So this is the power of the white sword. I guess you could double yourself like that anytime you see those panels. Cool. <laughs> so, what I need to do... Just go like that? Oh. Alright, well, that was something. I mean, I didn't really accomplish much in between that part, so... Let's move on to the next bit. You are going to be my favorite doorway. Interesting. You're the last person I expected to find here. And just as I was wondering who could be behind this, I find my old master. Hello. Batai. Ah, as always, you are dressed in <laughs> the shabbiest of rags. My curses are not to be mocked. The one I cast on you is most powerful. No matter what powers you wield, you will never break it. You haven't changed in the slightest. 
I should have never created that cap. It only fueled your insane desires. Wait, if you knew he was insane, why did you still make the cap? Fool, a hat that grants wishes of its wearer is a spectacular creation. Seriously, why would you make something like that? Thanks to you, I've gone from being a meek, minuscule nothing to the greatest sorcerer alive. You cannot stop me now. And I have you to thank for it. Accept this small gesture of gratitude from me. Wait, Matai, wait. You literally walked into that one. Eh, you suck. Wow. Oh, hey, someone who... That was it? Seriously? That foul Vatai, what could he be scheming now? Link, I feel I owe you an explanation of what has happened. You see, Vatai and I are both Minish. I once was a famous sage and a renowned Minish craftsman. Vatai was only a boy when I took him in as my apprentice. But he became enchanted by the wickedness in the hearts of men. One day, Vatai looked at the hat I made for the humans, my pride and joy, that granted the wishes of its wearers. He put it on without permission. Vatai, what are you doing there? Oh, what a vital form you have taken. Vile, I am a sorcerer now, and my power is beyond compare. No longer would I tire away as your apprentice. Now I shall call me master. Why, Vatai, what are you plotting? This year, on the day that comes but once a century, the portal opens, and when it does, I shall claim the light force as my own. I will transform perfect. And there will be none who can stop me. <laughs> Tell me, how does it feel, my sorcerer's curse? Do you see Ezlo? I am your I am truly your master now, and you cannot stop me. And with that, I must be leaving. He looks so irritated there. He's like, ugh. You know the legends, of course. The gift that the Pakori gave to the humans. What you call the Pakori braid was the first of those gifts. The second, well, you could call it the light force. But it was a sort of limitless magical power. If a tie were to get it now, it would be devastating. I came to the world of men hoping to stop Vatai, and I met you in the woods. But it seems we won't be breaking the curse on me any time soon. However, with the Sacred Blade, we can certainly restore Princess Zelda. I'm sorry, all this has happened due to my own pride, my folly. I must rely on you, on your power, until we put an end to Vatai. You're like a leech. Well, Link, enough fairy tales. We must search for the next element. I mean, really, I have a lot more to do. Unfortunately, I can only do two forms right now, I think. At least that's the guess I'm taking. So, before I go any further, there's a couple things I want to do still. Alright. Right here... Right here. Oh, I gotta be careful. Right here in the first ladder, right at the very bottom of the Mount Cretel areas. You can make a double of Link here and go ahead and climb a ladder. Ooh, look at this. Ow! This looks so... They look so pretty. 
Kind of a shame. Kind of shame I had to kill him so quickly. Oh, I got problems here. I think I only wasted six rubies, but... I don't want to open that chest. I'm also going to be right back again. I think this is actually where I'm supposed to go. Okay, I'm not going to be going away anytime soon. So let's go ahead and find out where I'm at. Oh. Da -da 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 -da. Well, that was easy. <laughs> okay. All right, back in the land of ripoff artists, I want this boomerang because it's 300 rubies and that's exactly what I got. So I might as well not even waste a penny this time and uh, just get the boomerang. Well, you are a big spender, aren't you? Thank you. Uh, Ooh, a homing boomerang, and I got a kinstone piece. That's always nice, and I think it's the shape of that one traveler guy. I guess his name was Stranger? I think that's what it was. Ooh. Oh, that was nothing special. Ow. Ow! Can I not get hurt for once? Thank you. Western Wood. <clears throat> eh? What's a strange feeling? I sense something from the castle's direction. Or was it just me? Uh-oh. Hmm. Who's there? Oh, Vatai. How did you get in here? What are you doing? <laughs> yeah! It looks like you're all here. Very well. The king of Hyrule has words for you. You all know the power of the Bakori. Gave to mankind, do you not? The golden light force of limitless magical power. I want it. It is somewhere here in Hyrule. Go and bring me this power. Waste no time. Go forth at once and bring me the light force. Fling anyone who refuses into the dungeon. Him and his family, too. I will tolerate no disobedience. Now search high and low throughout the lands of Hyrule. Hmm, maybe it's just the wind. But I hope nothing bad has happened. Anyways, we need to look for the next element. The map says it should be around here somewhere. I didn't mean to go here yet. So starting off, Right here, where you get the power band, go out after you obtain the power of the white sword. Is it still even the white sword? I don't know. You want to go one, two, three. So you want to have from here one, two, three. In the spot and this spot. Go through like that, and then BAM! And, you get a free piece of heart. Just collect one more and increase your life energy. You got 50 rubies. You must be very happy. Uh, you got a 50 rubies. You must be very happy. Uh, Believe not what others tell you. I am the true master swordsman of Hyrule. 
and my name is Greyblade. And if you train with me, you will learn much. So, would you like to train here? Please tell me you don't know the possession technique. You will learn the amazing roll attack. First, roll with any direction in R. Second, as soon as you get up. Third, scream hey and swing your sword. That's all, young swordsman. Do you understand? Yes. Ho ho ho, well answered. You have much promise, but one must feel the technique, not hear about it. Oh no, here it comes. That's why I must now possess your body. Why? Why is everyone wanting to possess this body? So I may demonstrate the te technique. I'm sure that's not all you're doing. This is the Grey Blade possession technique for training. Watch this. Possession. Wow, look at that D distance. Phew. Now you must try it yourself. Roll and then swing your sword. You didn't even do a good job. Ooh. So you just basically got to hit before you go up. His directions were wrong. I will give you this tiger scroll. If you ever forget this technique, you can review it with this scroll. Thanks, and I stole 100 bucks from you. See ya. Seriously, I'm almost out of bombs? Da -da 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 -da. Sweet. That was not cool. I need the money. <gasps> it's a person. And they're standing right in front of the teeny doorway. Honestly, where did Dad go this time? I leave for just a few minutes and he locks up the ranch and takes off. Aw, oh, poor you. I'm out of bombs. Poor me. Okay, there's somebody there, which means I gotta find my way up. Oh, there's a gore gun. So, to get the way up, I gotta go there. And to get there, I gotta go there. To get there, I gotta get around here somewhere. I love working in my garden. It makes me feel so close to nature. And sometimes, just sometimes, I dig up a kinstone from the ground. Really? Rock and roll, I dug up another kinstone piece from my field. That rocks. Want a fuse kinstones? Yeah, rock and roll. No, oh, sorry, I can't. Boo, you know what you can getting. Get for quitting on me? You get a boo. What's up there, bud? You saying you want to match kinstone pieces? The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. Maybe something good would happen. Will happen. Mm -hmm. I feel so much stronger now. Here we go. <laughs> Yay. Whoo, it's about time. Look good through I'm going in. Well, good for him. Still good for him. A perfect fit. Get Freak's kinstone pieces. Alright, starting with actual progress this time. I can get to here, and down here. <gasps> Something's actually gonna happen this time. You look much different than they usually make you look. Welcome to the Adventurer's Spring. 
I have need of many rubies. Please, throw all your rubies into the spring. Sure. Really? You know that if you do this, you will have absolutely no ru rubies left, right? Yeah, I went ahead and just bought stuff anyway, so go ahead. You are most kind. I do not really need your rubies, but I must reward such a kind adventure with some of my power. Ooh, now I got an even bigger wallet. May light shine on your quest. Well, thank you. Does this mean the other fairy place is going to work? Now I got to go there too. So if you go up here, where diminished was, you get a kinstone piece. Eh, nothing too special. I mean, your reward for trading with someone is getting to trade with somebody else. But I think that's what the other guy in the farm needed, so I can go trade with him real quick. That'll be nice. Let's trade, dude. Trade. Rock and roll. Let's go. Oh, not even close. Boo! You know what you... Get a boo. Oh well. Alright. Let's go this way. Find ourselves another place we can jump up. Vale Falls. Ooh, and with that, we got another piece of heart. And that's our fourth one already. So we got ourselves an extra piece of heart. Unfortunately, that's all this place seems to be giving us right now. Nope, not going. Whoa, 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 whoa. So let's see if I can go in here yet. Oh, I can. What are you guys? We need to find a nice, quiet place where we can settle down. It's so nice to be here at last, and such a big town it is. Staying in this inn forever will start to be a bother. Okay. And what's this? Hey, what do you know about that Life Force stuff? People are saying it's some kind of treasure that can be granted you any wish. Anyways, now the king's in a big huff trying to find it. It's strange though, he's never struck me as a greedy type before. It's almost like he's a different person now. You want to fuse kinstones? Sure, let's see how well they fit. That looks important. Fit perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. Satchel. That place looks familiar. And I see another one of them wind places. What a fit. Look at that. And you know what? That means good luck for us. Hey, wait up. You want to fuse kinstones? Let's do it. Perfect. The two kinstone pieces fit perfectly. That's cool. If I had either A, a way to get there, or B, a way to open that door. They fit perfectly. Things are starting to look up. So don't talk to the pigtail girl. Talk to the kid with the green shirt. You want a few skin stones? Then do it. Oh, sorry kid. Oh, uh, you want to quit? Well, we can always trade again later. Maybe, maybe not. Man, there are a lot of people here. It seems like you're gonna really get what you pay for here. Sure, let's see how well they fit. Oh, and I just traded that one away. I'll be here. 
No, somebody already opened that treasure chest. No, somebody already opened that treasure chest. No, somebody already opened that treasure chest. Hey, I have 109 bucks. Can I buy a room? Hi there. Welcome to the Happy Hearth. Need a rest kit? Well, we can take care of that. And even throw a person to boot. Forget it. Oh. I don't have that stuff yet. Right. 50 rupees. Cheap room it is, then. All payments up front, please. Thanks. Enjoy your stay. Thanks. Hey, I got a present. And I get to see their super cool animation. Oh, he's even waking up his bird friend. Oh, I'll even put him on. A kinstone piece. That's cool. Unfortunately, can't use it. Oh, here we are. This is my special time. Just me and my cup of joe. You want to fuse kinstones? Sure, let's see how well they fit. Man, this one sure is popular today. Oh, yeah, a change of heart. Well, I'll be here. Eh, you just wanted rubies anyways. I've already been in there. And Beetle's back. Let's see what Beetle has to say. Well, hello there. Thanks for coming by. Pika lights. Just put it in your bottle and good stuff happens when you drink it. Oh, that's red Pika light. Will make your quest so much easier. Makes a cinch for you to find hearts. Don't buy. So if that helps you find hearts, then this should help you find rubies, right? So for you to find mysterious shells. Oh. That's an empty bottle. That's an empty bottle. Oh, that's a white pick -a light for people who want to get lucky. Makes it easier for you to find kinstone pieces. Care to buy it? Well, I can't even use that yet. Oh. You don't have enough. Rupees. All right. So you want to fuse kinstones? Let's do it. Oh, man. I'm so glad I was able to make this one work. It perfectly. Maybe something good will happen. I don't know. Maybe. That looks nearby, actually. Ooh. Ah. Yep. I know where that is. What a perfect fit. You can't even see the seam. Impeccable work. Cool. All right, once you can grow a beanstalk, you can climb it. See what Hyrule has to offer, actually. And get a ton of money, as, long, as well as a piece of heart. Now that makes the first of four more after that. And with that, there is one more thing I want to do before I, ow. So, back at Grandpa's place, once again, another, oh, another reward for the kinstone pieces, which is just more mysterious shells. Holder of the sacred powers, we grant you the power of wind. Hey, that stone marker crumbled, and there's another one of those symbols. You know, no matter how many times I see that happen, it still rattles me. Something tells me you're going to get the power of wind eventually. Just not right this moment, apparently. <gasps> Something I can do. Cut grass with a bomb. Yeah. Oh, and get a fairy. I want to pay a 
visitor grandpa. So this is your house. Well, it seems to be a nice place. So where's my room? Upstairs. Just like this. Yeah. So, this is your room? That makes it my room too, right? Hey, aren't you tired? Do you want to take a rest? Sure. Get to see this cute animation again. This time, in Legend of Zelda. We explored through Hyrule Town, Hyrule Town again. And uh, met a lot of dead ends, but made some little bits of progress too. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and continue through the western fields. See you guys. Okay, I do want to talk to Grandpa just real quick. I got to. Hey, Gramps. Hey, Link. Every time I see you, you're more and more confident. Say, have you been to Rem's shoe shop? His shoes are really the best. I'm sure they could help you on your quest. Why don't you give him a visit? Why don't you take that bomb? Well, I guess he gave us one more thing to do. Alright, let's see if you actually have something for me. You know, if I can make shoes in my sleep, I must be in the right shop. Oh. How did I not notice this before? Me. So. Dumb. Let's explore a little bit then. So let's see, we got a shoe here. Well, that seems kind of horrid. But it also seems like I'm not meant to come here just yet. Let me just talk to him. You know, if I can make a shoe work in my sleep, I must... Ah. Alright. Alright, so, in the next episode, we explore the Western Wood. See you guys... Then...